Uh, alias display is essentially just a really easy, I mean, it is up to the modeler, of course, or the user to go ahead and use this. It's not intentionally it's supposed to take all the time away because there is still going to be uh, modifications that you want to make to your your moves or your tolerances, your measures based on the, the name. So <clears throat> it's for changing <clears throat> the names of your moves, tolerances, and measures globally. Correct. Right. And so um, just pointed just putting it out there. I mean, it it is like to a five, maybe ten percent reduce reduction in your modeling process. So if you do have uh, like a whole car that you're modeling, or maybe just like the left hand, right hand side door, if you're modeling that, then you won't have to worry about most of your points, your moves, your tolerances, your measures. Um, they will automatically generate their own names based on the features that are already in this this model. So in NX, we do have this alias display tab. Same thing in Katia. A couple of the new things that we did bring out. Uh, I do have a list here, but in 7340, we do have this list of new stuff that came in uh, that we can uh, add either IJK or XYZ dominant directions. Um, I'm not going to really go through this whole thing. Uh, now we can specify either hole or pin, whether it's a surface or a static point. Um, but here's a whole new list of new stuff that we added to alias display. Um, additionally, we also added a way to edit the abbreviation file within the preferences, which was something that we've I've wanted to push for a long time. But uh, now we are able to go into this edit uh, abbreviation text file, which gives us all the features within 3DCS, their uh, abbreviations. So if I wanted to go to find the linear tolerance, and there it is right there. So right now it's called LN. So if I had this filled in um, with alias display, it'll call itself LN as a linear tolerance instead of saying linear or circular. Or I can change this and call it profile or call it something else that I want it to show in my tree or even in my uh, uh, report. So I can call it. Right. So maybe maybe the first thing you should do to, so they understand what's happening is this would change the name in your tree um, with the click of a button. He's talking. He's showing you the setup and how you can set it up so when you use it, it will change the name. It it's essentially not it's not really changing anything the name in the name. It's actually giving it an alias or a display change. Right. So you're. I can go through here and change this. I'm going to save this. My points are still going to be called point one, point two, or PT1, PT2 throughout this. So all of these will still have its own. So right now it's still called upper or right under, right cover, up down one. I can change this to uh, RC UD1. And alias display is going to update it so that now I have that underscore Y, which is the dominant direction. So basically, alias display is just giving it this this name that I specified within this file, um, abbreviation file, and within the already the parts I already have the part names. So it just kind of gives you that okay, I have my. Uh, the way I like the, the tree already created, I have my points already created with right cover, four-way, two-way. Um, and then I can also specify if I want a prefix or a suffix. And then the show of precision on all the tolerance names. Okay. So... If you create a model from scratch and you write a tolerance, you can write 10 tolerances. 3DCS, if you don't do anything, it will call it tile 1, tile 2, tile 3, tile up to tile 10. Right. With alias display, one of the things I like to show is, well, what's the range that was in that tolerance? So if Jason can show a tolerance without alias display on, okay, so that 
you see, you know, what it looks like if you just wrote your tolerances and gave it your own names. Okay, so you can see inside this tolerance list. Okay, you're gonna just add. So one. I'm just gonna add a tolerance. So right now the default just goes right to tall 27, and it's a linear. But this linear does not show up anywhere. It's just for us. Right. So now if he goes into alias display and turns it on. Now if I go back to my preferences, hit the alias display and apply. So now I've got tall 27. It's a one mil tolerance with a linear tolerance. And I changed that LIN or LN to linear. Right. So this is what we're going to see in our report. This is what we're going to see in our model, our um, I think Excel as well, if we export this model to Excel. And we'll be able to kind of go through this. And we can also use uh, find and replace to find all these functions, these, um, these, these points or moves or tolerances or measures. And we can use this, say, for example, star UD1. It's going to find everything with UD1 in the name using that alias display name. So essentially, you're taking all of your, you're using alias display to add a suffix onto all tolerances, moves, or, or measures with a specific attribute or feature, and then you can use find uh, within the model, the find feature, to then find and group those particular moves, measures, and tolerances. So right. I, the find and replace, I mean, that's there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, essentially, Alias display kind of works on its own for the user to go ahead and for a report to, uh, to generate a report. It's going to have those names in it. Maybe uh, customers who see the report may not know what they are, but the user knows and they'll be able to explain it better. And then um, to find and replace is we can use this functionality to go ahead and change all of our, our, our views. So uh, we can also change the names. I can uh, select these two. Oops. If I wanted to replace the name in here, so like right now I got left cover up down Y, I can replace this with left cover replace, and it's going to replace them all with that name in there. So I mean, it's this is pretty a broad. Find, search, replace name, update name. Uh, we also got views in here that we can change. You know, if I wanted to change my view to 